Studio has powerful tool sets that allow you to add corrections, effects, or both to audio clips, video clips, and photos. You can access these tools in various ways. If you double click on a clip in the library, you will have access to corrections. If corrections are applied to a clip in the library, then the clip will now be corrected for use in any project moving forward. You can always edit or remove the correction if you don't like it once it's in a project. All corrections and effects are non-destructive. Let's drop an audio clip, video clip, and picture on the timeline. Double click on any one of them. You will see that the media editor window is opened. Down at the bottom is the navigator. If it's not visible, simply click the show navigator button. You can load any clip into the media editor just by selecting it in the navigator. No need to return to the timeline. There are additional buttons at the bottom of the media editor that give you additional ways of viewing your content. In the premium versions of Studio, Solo allows you to decide which layers of your timeline you see in the media editor. This is important when working on complex timelines with multiple layers. You can also view your media in several sizes, including full screen, one-to-one, -one, and fit, which always shows your whole image. Let's select a photo in the navigator. You are presented with three tabs. Corrections, Pan and Zoom, and Effects. Effects in Pan and Zoom are only available when you open a clip from the timeline because they both interact with the duration you've used in your project, and stylistically, the effects you choose for one project will be different than another project. Your library clip, in its original form, is still available for use in other projects where the specific effect or pan and zoom would be inappropriate. In the Corrections tab, you have access to tools that enhance the original image characteristics. Crop a portion of the image, straighten images that are slightly skewed, and remove red eyes in photos. The pan and zoom opens tools that animate your still picture to bring movement and excitement to your static images. You can now create movies and documentaries just like the pros. The Effects tab opens a plethora of special effects that add the production polish to your movie. There is a short description in the left panel for each subheading. Let's select an effect type. When you roll over an effect, you will see a preview representation of that effect. To apply the effect, just click on it. You also have additional controls to modify the selected effect in this panel on the right. Of special note is the Add-ons tab. This is the location for additional effects, sometimes called plugins. Studio includes the powerful Red Giant plugins under this location. Let's select a video in the navigator. You are presented with two tabs, Corrections and Effects. In the Corrections tab, you have access to tools that enhance the original video image characteristics. Take a snapshot of a single frame of video to create a still picture and stabilize to help smooth out shaky video. To create a quick snapshot on the timeline, you can use the Snapshot button on the Timeline toolbar. This will instantly create a snapshot of exactly what you see in the preview, and it will add to the latest import collection in the library. However, if you want to create a snapshot from your source video and use cropping tools to get the right aspect ratio, then you can use the snapshot tool in the library. Double click on your video clip, and then go to the snapshot category at the top. Now you can choose your aspect ratio, adjust your crop, and select apply. Again, your new snapshot will be added to the latest import collection in the library. If you have video that is too shaky, you can fix this using Studio's Stabilize feature. To smooth out the motion, double-click on your video clip in the library or timeline. 
select the Corrections tab, and then choose Stabilize. In the upper right corner of the settings, there is an orange dot. This tells you whether Stabilize is active or not. Click the dot to activate Stabilize, or choose one of the presets from the drop-down menu. After adjusting your settings, press the Render and Play button to assure smooth playback in the Media Editor Preview, or press the OK button to return to the library or timeline. If you decide you don't want to save the Stabilize effect before leaving the Media Editor, simply click again on the orange dot to deactivate the effect. Let's click on the Effects tab. You can apply multiple effects to your clip, and you can change the order in which they're applied to your clip by simply dragging them up and down in the list. The orange dots allow you to toggle off and on any parameter or effect for easy comparison. In the upper left corner, you can choose to work with the video portion of the clip or the audio portion. Notice that both the preview and the effects that are available change. Across the top, you'll see several numbered categories where the effects have been organized. Let's click on 2D, 3D. Now hover with your mouse over each effect to see a preview of that effect. Let's choose this effect. Just clicking on it applies the effect. This is a keyframed effect. A keyframe is a marker that holds information about the effect at that particular point in time. Before changing parameters, make sure you jump to the first keyframe using the Jump to Keyframe button on the toolbar. Now any changes that you make in the settings will be applied to the first keyframe only. And as you scrub along the ruler, you will notice that the motion smoothly transitions from the position of your first keyframe to the position of your end keyframe. You can add or remove keyframes at any time. Also notice the stereoscopic category. Here is where you can set your depth and other settings for your stereoscopic 3D clips. Let's select an audio clip in the navigator. You're presented with two tabs, Corrections and Effects. In the Corrections tab, you have access to tools that enhance the original audio characteristics. There is a handy tooltip that describes what each tool does. Notice that some of these audio effects are only available with premium versions of Studio. You have an equalizer for changing tonal quality, a compressor for reducing output level for a given threshold, expander for reducing low-level noisy signals, a de-esser for reducing sibilance and other high-frequency noise that can lead to distortion. And finally, noise reduction suppresses unwanted noise in audio clips. After your audio corrections are made, you can add effects to your audio as well. Click the Effects tab, select Audio Effects. Try out some different effects, and remember you can select and tweak the effects by clicking on the thumbnail and using the control panel on the right. This is a great time to cycle through the vast selection and variety of effects. Go ahead, have some fun, and start experimenting. Half the fun of editing is understanding your capabilities within Studio. Spend time playing with the different possibilities because fun and creativity is what Studio is all about. Hello, I'm Paul Holtz from Class on Demand. This introductory chapter gave you a quick look at the creative power and flexibility of Pinnacle Studio 16. If you'd like to learn more about creating your movies with award-winning Pinnacle technology trusted by millions of users worldwide, then order your copy of Class on Demand's complete training for Pinnacle Studio 16 on the Pinnacle website. On behalf of Pinnacle and Class on Demand, thanks for watching.